Those of you that have ever heard me talk about a mouse know that I've been using the same wired Utech Smart Venus MMO gaming mouse for about three years now. I absolutely love it. It fits my hand perfectly, has just the right weight and outstanding build quality and performs phenomenally. I've tested out similar mice from brands like Razer and Corsair before and none of them have really come close to the Venus. A few months ago, a representative from Utech reached out to me via email and said they would like to send me their brand new fully wireless Venus MMO mouse to test and review. At first I thought it was too good to be true, but as we progressed further with the conversation I agreed to give it a try. A few days later, the mouse arrived. <laughs> I've already opened the packaging to do my testing, but what you get inside is the wireless mouse, 2.4 GHz USB receiver, rated USB-A to USB-C charging cable, the instruction booklet, and one of my favorite advances for sending physical software, a business card with a flip out USB drive that carries the drivers and Utech software needed to customize the mouse settings. Taking a look at the wireless mouse, you can see that Utech kept the same ergonomics and 16 button layout as the original wired version, but replaced the wire with the USB-C charging port and added a battery pack where the removable weights were on the wired version. I'm sure there are a few other minor modifications internally for the wireless transmission as well, but the important thing to me was form factor. I've praised this design for years and recommended the wired version to everyone, so seeing the design continue makes me very happy. Additionally, a switch was added to the bottom of the wireless mouse so that you can choose to operate it with full RGB illumination or without any lighting to extend the battery life. Speaking of battery life, I was able to go for three days straight on a single charge with the lighting activated on its brightest setting. When the lights began to flash, warning me that the battery was running low, I simply plugged in the included USB-C charging cable and kept right on using the mouse seamlessly. I forgot to record the time it took for the mouse to charge fully, but it was only left charging for an hour or so before I unplugged it for the night and began using it wirelessly again the next day. The mouse ports up to 16,000 DPI, as well as different DPI profiles that can be set up via the included software and then cycled through using the arrow buttons located next to the scroll wheel. The software is easy to use for configuring mouse settings and RGB lighting, and when not actively being used for configuration, isn't running in the background eating up tons of resources. Overall, I've been incredibly impressed with the responsiveness, battery life, and build quality of the Venus MMO wireless mouse. This mouse will continue to be my daily driver, and costing only $54.99 at the time of filming will remain my number one recommendation for anyone looking to get their hands on a high quality wireless mouse at a great price for the foreseeable future. If you'd like to grab one for yourself or as a gift for someone needing a mouse upgrade, you'll find a link to the Amazon listing in the video description below. Thanks for watching this review of the Utech Venus MMO Wireless Mouse. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Share the video with anyone you know that's in the market for a new mouse, and leave a comment below with your thoughts on the Venus MMO Wireless and any suggestions you have for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one.